Hey guys and welcome back to Mum's Eye View. Today I'm with Scott and James from Red's Barbecue and they're going to show us how to really barbecue food. Because I think I have been making barbecue food terribly wrong. Sounds like time. it. Sounds mm -hmm. like you've been grilling. I have been grilling. Or cremating. Or cremating. I thought barbecuing meant putting food in the garden on a grill. Mm, that's not real barbecue. But that's we'll show you how to do it properly today. Show you. We're going to go outside and we are going to smoke some barbecues. We are. Indirectly. Indirectly. <laughs> yeah. And with that in mind, we're going to need the wood back. So, oh. could you step off the lock? Thank you. Let's go. We'll just get this. Before we uh, even get anywhere near What's the, that? This is a piece of meat. Uh, it's, a, it's a pork shoulder. It comes from here, but they also call it the pork butt. Uh, Americans call things by funny names. Maybe I it's thought it was a actually shoulder. a butt, like a bum. No, 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 it's the shoulder. It's the butt of the shoulder. Before we do anything, I need to, I need to see if you can, uh, can don one of these gloves on your left hand. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. All right, in your left hand then. And uh, we've got a product, which apparently is available in Asda. Uh, called uh, the pulled pork barbecue rub from Reds to Barbecue, and it's a proprietary rub. It's the same rub that we use in the restaurants, and uh, we're going to put rub all over this puppy, and we're going to let it kind of marinate in for a few hours, and then we're going to put it on the on the on the smoker, and we're going to okay. let it cook for about 14 or 15 hours. All right, so I'm going to rub. <coughs> You're going to get massaging. Ah! I know. Oh. <laughs> Okay, and then you're Don't gonna get it. Eat that bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're gonna get it all around the, all the edges and every single one of these corners as well because you want to impart as much flavour as you can in there. Come on, let's go outside and cook this bad boy up. <laughs> all right, I was told to bring this meat to you. But obviously, what you normally want to do is get it. If you can get it in for like 24 hours, that's cool. Uh, but if not, maybe like six hours is, uh, is perfect to just get the flavours to go right into the meat. So what you do? Get your fire going. But you want to put all that to the side. Now the temperature that you're going to try and keep this at is about 225 to 250. Now that we've moved the coals across, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and get a little bit of smoke into it and we're also going to try and regulate the temperature and keep it moist. So if right. you want, um, you can use a piece of wood like this. Now because we're using real coal, I'm not too worried about that, you can just whack that straight on. But if you use like a gas barbecue, what you'd normally do is get like a little Chinese takeaway box, put some uh, wood chips in it, wrap it in foil, stab some holes in the top, and stick that straight onto the element. Does that create barbecue. a smoker? Yeah, it just creates a smoker. So you can use anything, any kind of any any barbecue with a lid can be turned into a smoker. Um, so get that stuck onto there, and that's just going to smolder away, and it's just going to give it off a really nice sort of temper smoke. So now we've got the wood on. We're going to get the grill and put that on, and whack that straight onto the top, just there. Right. So then you want to get a bowl of water. Now what this is going to do. It's going to regulate the temperature a bit, but it's also going to keep it nice and moist. It's going to put a bit of water into the atmosphere. Because obviously, if you imagine burning this through, it's yeah. going to be quite dry in there. So you want to get that straight on top. Right, so if you uh, grab the meat off the chopping board, this is heavy and I want much. you to get this, so this side, you need to flip that over. There you go, <laughs> oh. there. It's in the butchers and everything. Right, so get that stuck onto the top of there. And then we get our lid, and whack that onto here. And then uh, wait for 14 hours. <laughs> 14 hours? Give or take, yeah. You can actually, if you're at home, you don't actually have to do this the 14 hour way. You can actually do this in your oven. You can prepare it exactly the way we did it, right? Yeah, and then you totally. can bring it into the oven. Well, while we wait for this to cook, let's have some fun. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, tell me about sauces. All right, well, we've shown you how to make barbecue uh, in barbecue. terms of creating indirect smoke and all that type of stuff. But we go to the US every year and we go across uh, the southern states of the US in an RV uh, on a pilgrimage to learn about all the different styles of barbecue. Fun. So we've got this range of sauces that celebrate this kind of regional approach to, to true barbecue. Um, but what I wanted to do today was to, to show you one that was quite specific and quite special. It's kind of like a Louisiana hot sauce. I think the best way to understand the sauce is to try the sauce. Yeah. You have a sniff first to see if you're... That smells, it smells nice. Good. How hot would you say this is? Well, there's, I mean, there's a whole range. So from one to 10? From one to 10. Would you say it's as hot as this? Uh, I'd say not. Uh, no. I'd say it's probably more or less like this. All right, so uh, well, uh, here goes. Cheers. What? I'm not. I'm not actually downing this. Yeah, you got to drink the whole thing. What? It's, it's, <laughs> I little, would... it's vinegar. It's a little bit of pepper. You, you won't even notice it. So here goes. Won't even do 
film is it? I didn't understand any of those words. <laughs> oh my God. We're back in the kitchen after a brief visit to the ER. Okay. <laughs> pretty spicy. That sorry was pretty that. spicy. <laughs> it was. Okay, I agree. I'm sorry for that. This has been cooking now for somewhere in the region of about about 12 to 13 hours, and uh, there's a test that you can do without having to probe it, without having to kind of cut into it, anything like that. And it's uh, it's basically pulling out the the shoulder bone from the pork shoulder. Okay. okay now what you want to do is you want to twist it a few times, clockwise, anti-clockwise, as much as you can. And then hopefully it should, if you pull it out nice and gently, it should, it should release itself. So and that, if that happens, it means you've got a perfectly cooked pulled pork shoulder. Oh, that was pretty easy. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? If you open up there, can you see this? Can you see the smoke ring on yeah. the outside? See the smoke ring? Yeah, 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 you can. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull all these bits, so that the, the bark on the outside, the fatty bits, the, the kind of the more kind of leaner, muscly bits. And uh, we're going to put it in this bowl now. Okay. If you don't mind banging it in there for us quickly. So pull the whole thing yeah, in? Yeah, the whole thing in. And that's the only bone in the whole thing? So, yeah, it's a very clean cut. Wow. What we're going to make now is a, uh, is a liquid element and a, more, and a more flavorsome element that's going to go in with the, uh, the pulled pork. So at the moment, it's not pulled. So we're going to pour in about half of this bottle of, uh, of Kansas City barbecue sauce. About 50 mils or 60 mils of, uh, of apple juice. All right. The dry chilies some salt and pepper. Now this is to taste. Now I, I kind of know that this is going to need a little bit of additional seasoning. And you want around 50 mils again. Now again, I, I, got, I got the chef's eye, so I kind of know how much Right, 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 right. I do that all the time too. So it's basically like a really big shot of, uh, of spicy Louisiana sauce. What we need to do next to make the pulled pork sandwich, the epic pulled pork sandwich, is make a wicked slaw. So um, it's to off balance it, is it? Yeah, it's to add crunch, a little bit of vinegar to cut to cut through the fat of the of the pulled pork as well, yeah. and uh, it's actually got some really nice perfume elements too. Right, so we're going to work as a team on building these right. four sandwiches. They are the most epic pulled pork sandwich, so they're going to need a lot of layers of flavor, right? So we've got the pulled pork, which you've expertly pulled. Uh, you've got your slaw, which is a mayo-free zone, nice zingy, crunchy kind of element. And then we're also going to add another two flavor enhancers. So one being the pulled pork barbecue rub, uh, that's available right now in Asda. And, uh, and then we also have the rest of the Kansas City barbecue sauce. Because as you can see, there's really good, lo lots of flavor mm. in here as well. But we want to add some extra barbecue sauce on the sandwich, just to kind of give it that extra yeah, slurp yeah, that you yeah, want, yeah. right? So, I'm going to give you this. And uh, if you want to load up one of the sandwiches with a, a bunch of pork, you can, add, uh, you can add butter to your brioche uh, lo uh, rolls if you want to as well. We, we don't, because you don't need it. What do you reckon? I think that's. I think that's. A, you could probably go a little bit more if you want. Good. We could. Get some of that bark in there as well, maybe. There we go. Yeah, that's the kitty. That's the one. Oh yes. All right, that's my one. And then you want to get some of the some of the slaw on there for that that ultimate crunch. Use your fingers on the other hand to, to kind of block it. There we go. That's it. All right, and then we're gonna get a little bit of the. I'll I'll do the rub and you do the sauce, right? So a tiny bit of the rub over the top, just to give it that nice little crunch and that little flavour. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna crown it. Boom. Let's see, this better not be like the uh, a minute ago. No, 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 I'm gonna catch a juice. <laughs> there we go, look at that. Mm. Crunch, smoky, sweet, salty. Vin everything. Everything, right? Vinegary, vinegary, vinegary. I'm so good. <laughs> All right, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much to Red's Barbecue for fulfilling my life. <laughs> I feel like I've, I've, I've lived an empty life up until this moment. Excellent. Well, listen, you know now what true barbecue is. I do. Throw away the gas grill, Throw stick to away. the authentic smoking, and uh, appreciate your time, and uh, hopefully we've got another believer on board. Absolutely. And you guys, you leave some comments, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to Mum's Eye View, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>